Hei hei! Postman but come, come and bring the new package from Weaver again. Let's see what we have here. At least this knife is dull. Rotator table. Now we can get some nice round shapes from my meal. Finally, there's bits and pieces. How tiny it is. Well, it doesn't need to be big. It just need to function. And it seems to be functioning. Okay. That's... That's it now. Let's unwrap and uh, mount it that. And test it on, on the meal. All right, there it is, on its place. It is a small, only 100 mil, four inches. But um, currently what I'm working on, it doesn't need to be bigger. This was too expensive already, even though it's a cheap Chinese and from Weaver, so the price was very well. For my budget, so that's that's no matter. But uh, I definitely need need a bigger one for different projects like hubs. But um, for these purposes, just like uh, redoing this pushing installation tools uh, color or what it is called anyways I, I will test uh, if I can make it nice with this one so this came with two set of uh, uh, these chuck uh, teeth these are for inner Connecting and then there was a, another set for outside holding. So those are something that I can install here. The little bit bigger diameter, but uh, what I can do with this is put it on the side, and I can use my mill for for making a round object so not just a back and forth I can roll them there so being like a cheap lathe but uh, yeah let's see how this operates Okay, I managed to somehow set up this here, but uh, my camera setup isn't optimal for this kind of a job, but let's see.
okay. Here we can see that it vibrated itself loose, so it started to eating away wrong way. Shit. This looks nice, but I need to finish that, but this isn't good. It shouldn't be doing that. Didn't need to look long time. There's the reason this screw rattling itself loose. So need to tighten up that I will find the right size bit on that. It's a Philips PH free probably, and I will use impact to put it tight, <laughs> and maybe it will work after that. Okay, I got this how I want it. It's around evenly, but. Um, this is a little bit loose for heavy milling, which it seems to be what I'm doing. But uh, anyways, it's working. And uh, I got the job done. Um, one thing about that screw that I tightened. Do not, I repeat, do not tighten it with the impact. It needs to be a little bit loose because it's a bearing. So if you if you put it too high hard, it won't be turning. So lesson learned, use force but do not use too much so it is now as tight and I can take it but there is a quite a much of this slab so not for precision but uh, it was so cheap that uh, you shouldn't be expect any precision on that cheap device so it is what it is but you can do it this kind of a not so precision job on it. I will use this more and do experiments on it, but uh, this is one new tool for my collection again. And now I'm knowing that I need bigger one and much sturdier one to do what I want to do. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.